Find the reactions at A and B on this beam. First thing you have to do is draw a free body diagram. Even if you know what the forces are going to be, the time you spend drawing your free body diagram is time your brain spends thinking about what's going to appear in your equations of equilibrium. A pin has two forces, one in the x and one in the y. A roller only has one in the y. And you're going to need these distances. This is one feet. This is two feet. This is two feet. And this is one foot. Now you can write the sum of the forces in the x direction. You have only ax equals zero. The moment does not create a force. The sum of the forces in the y, minus 200 plus ay minus 400 plus by equals zero. And the sum of the moments, you may take about any point. If we take the sum of the moments about point A, we have 200 times 1 foot, which tends to rotate counterclockwise, 400 pounds at 2 feet, tending to rotate point A clockwise, BY at a distance of 4 feet, which tends to rotate A counterclockwise, and the 300 foot-pound moment, which is an applied force. It just ends up in your equation of motion as a single number. So we can assign signs in our equation. If 200 counter counterclockwise is positive, then 400 clockwise is negative. This would be positive, and this would be negative. You can solve, and you get by equals 225 pounds. Ay, if you go back and sub substitute into the equations of equilibrium for the sum of the forces in y, gives you 375 pounds, and Ax is 0 pounds. If you're answering these questions, you have to answer them in terms of directions as well. So the reactions are 375 pounds to the right, to, excuse me, up, and zero pounds to the right at A, and 225 pounds up at B.